hello guys uh, welcome back in this video let's try to understand uh, the dynamesh tool there are a few options which are generally help uh, in you know uh, preparing your model for 3d printing also so here we have the dynamesh option uh, i'll just uh, start with the default uh, scene maybe i'll go with a new document okay and then i would like to pick up a sphere here and then uh, I would like to convert this into a poly mesh and uh, you could able to see here this is uh, having some poles on both sides and uh, you could able to see the dynamesh button is off by default so I'll just click that button and immediately uh, the pole has been fixed there so it has rebuilt or remeshed the overall model and uh, the resolution is something really important here so when I put the resolution let's say I'll put it to 32 and then you should able to see the polygon size is too big which is giving me a low resolution model so if i apply uh, any modification to the model let's say this is uh, completely affecting the polygons here i mean the polygons do not favor me to sculpt anything here so i i will apply dynamesh again but already the dynamesh button is on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold control and then just drag it like that and then you should able to see this dynamesh here uh, has rebuilt it this part of the mesh uh, so resolution uh, is something really important as I told if I have to work with the high frequency detail then maybe I need a high density polygon count there so uh, so when we are basically doing dynamesh on a complex model let's say in this uh, particular model here um, I have uh, knowingly unknowingly I've created some poly groups it's okay now uh, when I just apply the dynamesh here you should able to see there is an option called groups so when i press shift f that brings up the uh, polygon uh, groups or poly groups visibility and i can switch on the line here so that you could able to see only the poly groups without the wireframe and then when i enable the groups button here and then uh, hold control and drag to apply the dynamesh uh, you could able to see a suture like effect or the, the crease like effect uh, you know applied on the model uh, wherever this uh, model is uh, separated by the polygon group however this is in one single uh, model or one single sub tool uh, but they are separated like that okay so that's the groups button here uh, we also have uh, the polish uh, button i just enable that so clay polish can be seen uh, here and also we have seen that in the uh, deformers so clay polish will refine our mesh so when the polish button is on it applies that clay polish throughout the model while we are dynamishing it so the model is more uh, you should be able to see more chiseled um, uh, now when i apply it you could see that uh, the result completely looks uh, very stylized i can say so polish brush is that and when we are applying this dynamesh uh, you could see some amount of uh, hardness in the model using the blur feature when we increase that value it kind of softens that overall result uh, while you increase this blur value so what is a project let's say there are a lot of details on this model so consider this model as uh, the source and uh, when I apply dynamesh you get a model right consider that as a target so the source model information will be projected onto the target model so when you are actually uh, you know dynamishing a a model which has got high frequency details like scales and all just to enable that option and then do the dynamesh okay so you have this sub projection value in relation with that the higher value will add more uh, lines where the creased details are there so that is sub projection value here so these are some options what we have in the dynamesh most of the times we use uh, dynamesh and resolution uh, that's a very common practice but if you want to take a little bit extra control then you can uh, pick that so we have uh, a few options here add subtract and or intersection and then we have uh, uh, create shell so what that actually means is uh, we have some uh, insert brushes so which are called IMM brushes so I'm choosing uh, the I B and I and then I got all IMM brushes so I'll take a simple primitive and then I will uh, insert a mesh now you should be able to see I've inserted a cylinder I can move inside, penetrate it, and then when I clear the uh, mask, and then you should be able to see, this is like 
uh, having a different polygon flow and uh, the body has different polygon flow and I just click and drag it has dynamized both these primitives and blending those two details there right so add is uh, mo almost like that so I'm going to uh, undo it just to remove the IMM brush now I'll just take a sphere um, let me switch the brush so let me take the sphere so when I'm clicking and dragging it's inserting the sphere that's good let's say if I hold alt okay if I hold alt let me switch off the symmetry also alt and drag just a minute so I, I just uh, reset this so when I just click and drag you get this right so when I hold alt and drag it, it starts behaving a little bit different than what it was there now this model is uh, you know uh, negatively in inserted that mesh um, now if I clear and then do the dynamesh it subtracts that okay and that's the subtract here you can instead of holding control and drag you can click this button which does the same thing uh, for the earlier step you could have added add button so here also when you add you get the same subtraction because it's considering your mesh there okay so I'll undo it and uh, again I'm just trying to reset or pick a different model again now when I have to use this intersect so I need to hold alt again and then I'm moving it off uh, I'm just making sure that it is penetrated inside and then I'm going to pick and so it will keep so I need to clear and then and so it, it puts the intersected part of the model so that's what these three options does um, there is a uh, you know a way in 3d printing that people try to make this as a shell rather than a solid so if I keep it as a solid and start printing I may end up using lot of material for printing so to save my material I prefer to make it as a shell so in that case I would uh, okay I would use the same tool okay and then I need to hold alt and then insert that and then uh, make sure that you're penetrating it half now once that is done just I hit this create shell button uh, must must mask must be clear so create shell and you should able to see I have uh, made a hole and there's a thickness inside the model which is having a different uh, poly group inside you could see that uh, scattered uh, dots okay so this is uh, because of this inserted mesh okay uh, so let's say if I am using if, if I don't want the hole but thick, I want thickness then again you can use the IMM brush any IMM would do any shape would do so uh, when I'm inserting okay I need to just hold alt and then drag it and then if I put this model completely out okay it's not penetrating inside and then when I uh, hit this create shell it has uh, actually made it there's some artifact but uh, it has uh, made a thickness let me remove that and I should be able to see I've created the thickness inside uh, generally you won't get the artifact but uh, yeah I just go to the sub tool and then uh, split two parts and I'm seeing if any mesh is there I think these two meshes are the culprits for that uh, bit problem so I'm, I'm deleting those models and then try the cylinder hold alt and then drag it and then move it away clear it and then go to the geometry dynamish and then create shell then you won't get that uh, penetration and then you could check that thickness achieved okay so thickness can be controlled here for uh, I tried uh, value below four but it was like giving me odd results okay so let me put a value of one and then create a shell uh, this looks good in this area but sometimes um, this may end up giving some problem okay let me uh, penetrate this and see the thickness okay so create a thickness with two and then you got that thickness which is the least value of the thickness here okay and uh, can we do this in any other way uh, obviously we can do it 
as i told uh, sometimes we may end up uh, with some problems so i'm using split to parts and then see if i've got any mesh inside that's that could be a issue so delete that uh, model not required and now uh, let's try doing the same thing the same uh, uh, dynamesh options which we have here okay uh, but in a different way so what i need to do is instead of using the imm brush i would uh, go to the up end and then choose any of the models and uh, basically place it uh, i'm applying some subdivisions to this model okay i'm going to divide divide i'll put delete lower and that is uh, nicely subdivided and i'm penetrating this here okay so uh, if i have to merge these two there is no complexity at all i select the upper one and then i go to the merge option then choose merge down and once that is merged i go to the geometry and then dynamic it there is no complexity here okay so i'll go to the job sub tool and then split it okay so that i get that two things separated now i'm going to put the a boolean a minus b thing subtraction and now i'm going to select the layer on the top then choose merge down whenever you do this kind of merge and you're expecting a subtraction and in poly groups the subtracted or the model which are going to subtract is going to be in white color okay and uh, now i'm going to uh, select the geometry dynamic and then just click subtract and it becomes uh, the subtraction let me pick and it becomes intersection and then let me create shell and then that creates the shell okay so you can easily uh, punch holes and create that thickness to your model sometimes uh, based on the uh, i mean uh, when the surface is too up and down uh, you may not get uh, thickness of this much like you got some complex jewelry and all and uh, the polygon should go in and out intricately with the same details so uh, lower thickness may not give you the suitable result so this is what uh, dynamesh is about and some of the options which can be useful for uh, 3d printing your models okay if you got any questions please uh, feel free to comment uh, and let me know